sometimes I accidentally call it a game myself because it is so fun, but it isn't in fact a game. It's actually a simulation. It's called the Predator Prey Simulation. Um, let's try and take those words apart and see if we can figure out what they mean. Let's start with simulation. What is a simulation? Have you ever heard the word simulation or simulate? Um, Sean. Uh, it's like a, like um, how something would happen. How something would happen. So yeah, is it is it the real thing? No. No, but it's like control. It's, it's like control. A practice round. Like a practice round. Very good. I like that. Right? It's close. <laughs> So that's what a simulation is. It's like a practice round. It's almost like doing it for the real thing, but not exactly. It's just a simulation, okay? So what are we going to be simulating here today? Today we're going to be simulating life in the wild. And death. Life in the wild. And death. So it's the predator and prey simulation. We're going to be simulating life in the wild. Some of you will get to be predators. Others will be prey. Some will be both. Yes. Ten, one or two will be neither. But everybody has an important role to play. Can you guys separate, please? Thank you. Everybody will have an important role to play, and that's kind of the cool thing about this, is that um, you know, no matter what your role is, some people have a unique role. Some people have the same role as thirteen other people. But no matter what your role is, it's hugely important. And if only one person doesn't understand their role, the whole thing can get messed up. So it's absolutely essential that everybody understands their part, understands what to do, and understands the goal of the whole simulation. So that's what we're gonna talk about next. Predator, prey, simulation. First of all, what is a predator? What's a predator? Predator. Nate. Predator is something that goes after smaller like life forms. To eat for food, yeah. right? So an animal that eats another animal for food is a predator. Yeah. Very good. And what is prey? What is prey? Yes, Grace. That animal that's Very good. Very good. So, like I said, some of you will be predators and some of you will be prey. Um, I told you you're going to be simulating um, life in the wild, right? What is, as an animal, we're going to be, most of you will be playing the part of animal. One or two of you won't be animals. Um, but most of you will be animals. And as an animal in the wild, what is their single most important goal what from is day to day? Animals single most important goal from day to day. They just want to get what? What do they just want to do? Zoe? Get food. Yes, getting food. And getting food is part of this major goal. You're right. Getting food is part of this major goal. But what is the altogether the major goal? Annie? To live. To live. To just get through the day without dying, right? <laughs> it sounds, sounds pretty morbid, and parts of this are pretty morbid because life is rough in the wild. That's why they call it the wild. It's not that easy. There are several things going against the animals. There are several things that they need in order to survive. We're going to try and simulate as many of those as possible. Okay. So in order to do that, we need to divide up the roles. We need to give everybody a special role in this simulation. Like I said before, it is absolutely essential that you understand your role. Got it? Okay. So I'm going to start choosing um, some parts for you. Okay. As soon as I start passing materials out, a million questions are going to come up in your head. Don't ask them. I know it's hard. Just take the things that we pass out um, and then follow the directions and by the end everybody will be cool. Understand? Okay. Now I want you to point to somebody who is capable of understanding things and directions that are a wee bit complicated. One more. Trace. So point to somebody who is always helpful to others. This person, if you see them in school and you know you drop your binder and your books all over the floor, and this person is always there to help out. Okay, point to somebody who has a good sense of humor. A good sense of humor. And they're also, they also tend to mess things up for other people. Oh my God. Remember, as I pass these things out, remember what I said about the roles. Okay, I don't think I have everybody's attention. Remember, the quicker we get through this, the quicker we can start.